Hello everybody, welcome to the Enigmatic Baboon. This is the geek webcast about science fiction, fantasy, video games, mobile devices and comic books. This time I'd like to look at Doctor Who. I've been a fan for quite a couple of years and my favorite doctor is Matt Smith. Now, we all know that the regular series is quite good, but the Christmas specials are basically feature-length episodes with some really special stories and much better special effects. In this episode, I'd like to take a look at my favorite Christmas specials from the Matt Smith era. He has basically been in three Christmas specials as of November 2013, before he actually uh, passes on the mantle to Peter Capaldi. Please beware, in these reviews there may be spoilers. Starting out on slot 3, my third favorite Christmas special with Matt Smith is The Snowmen. That first of all was supposed to officially introduce uh, Clara Oswald as the new companion of the Doctor. And The Snowman brings back the Great Intelligence, which is an old adversary of the Doctors from the classic era. So we have a really good cast. We have Richard E. Grant playing the villain, Professor Simeon. Then we have Jenna Louise Coleman playing Clara Oswald and Matt Smith starring as a doctor. We have um, uh, our favorite trio of 19th century Victorian detectives. That's Madame Vastra, Strax and um, yeah, Jenny. Apart from Richard E. Grant, we also have the voice of Sir Ian McKellen, who is uh, obviously Gandalf and Magneto. So the special effects on this episode are absolutely astounding. The whole feel of it is more in the vein of a Dickens tale. It is actually quite Victorian. It is set in the Victorian age. We have a lot of steampunk-like um, paraphernalia. We have a lot of emotion. We have the curiosity of Clara. We have this innocent kind of pureness that she brings to the whole series. There is one quibble. Clara dies in the episode, which went too easy. Basically, we have one of the villain's contraptions, which is a, 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 an ice creature. The ice creature grabs Clara out of the TARDIS and plunges together with her into the depth, thus killing her. And figure this, the doctor left the door open in the TARDIS. Now that is completely stupid. So that's why the snowman is on rank number three. Let's take a look at the trailer. There's a man called the doctor. He lives on a cloud in the sky. And all he does all day, every day, is to stop all the children in the world ever having bad dreams. Did you make this snowman? Because it wasn't there a second ago. It just appeared from nowhere. What is this? I said I'd feed you. I didn't say who to. There is danger here. What's your name? Clara. This snow could be a terrible weapon in the wrong hands, don't you think? I think winter is coming. Such a winter as this world has never known. Run! <laughs> Clara who? Doctor who? Oh, dangerous question. What's wrong with dangerous? It will build an army of ice. And it will be the last day of humanity on this planet. Tomorrow the snow will fall and so shall mankind. Doctor! She is coming. My second favorite episode is The Doctor, the Widow and the Wardrobe. And this one is actually a quite lambasted episode on the internet because the Doctor was very passive and we didn't actually see very much of his companions. There aren't any real stars in it except for a comedian who is apparently quite famous in the UK but he wasn't used to a great extent. The whole story is about the Doctor first saving the Earth from a from an invasion, which is sort of a running gag in Doctor Who, that at Christmas the world, and particularly Great Britain, always get invaded by aliens. The story is set during the Second World War, during the Blitz in London. The Doctor crashes down from outer space into London and gets helped by a kindly lady who is the mother of two and a good wife. A couple of years later, her husband apparently gets killed she suppresses these unpleasant facts and wants to break it to her kids after Christmas is over. So she can't really celebrate that much. Enter the doctor. He 
is the caretaker of the house that they stay at and he has set up the whole house to be like a playground. He is a bit of a Willy Wonka kind of character in this particular episode. So one of the kids opens up the Christmas present a bit too early and enters a portal to another world. Suffice it to say, things work out fine, but the doctor doesn't actually do much. There is even a line where he says, when somebody asks him, what do we do now? He says, just hold on to something and pretend it's a plan. Still, such a heartfelt episode full of uh, wonder and emotion. I really like it. That's why it's my number two favorite episode. Let's take a look at the trailer. This Christmas is going to be the best Christmas ever. I know. That man is quite ridiculous. You must stay away from him. Why have you got a phone box in your room? It's not a phone box, it's my wardrobe. Your brother, where is he? Quickly, come on. Where are we? In a forest, in a box, in a sitting room. What do they teach you in schools these days? Where are you from? England. 1941. And there's a war on. I'm sorry, Lily, I really am, but there is something very wrong in this forest. And your brother's right in the middle of it. My husband is dead and they don't know yet, because if I tell them now, then Christmas will always be what took their father away from them and no one should have to live like that. But there's nothing you could say that would convince me you'd ever use that gun. Oh, really? Well, I'm looking for my children. My favorite Christmas special is from 2010, A Christmas Carol. As you can imagine from the title, it is an adaptation of Charles Dickens' story, and it is quite a clever one. There, the doctor meets up with a Scrooge-like miser, uh, who is portrayed by Michael Gambon, and um, he has to turn his soul around, turn him into a good person to save a spaceship with a couple of hundred people who are crashing towards this planet. In addition to Michael Gambon, we also have uh, Catherine Jenkins, who is apparently a famous uh, classical singer in the United Kingdom. She has a rather unfortunate surname because there is a historic Jenkins who probably didn't sing as well as her. So this is the perfect kind of Christmassy episode. You have longing, you have love, you have family, and you have a flying shark which, come to think of it, is not very Christmassy, but it fits in pretty well anyway. Let's take a look at the trailer. That's my favorite one. What's so special about Christmas? I despise Christmas. It's Christmas Eve. We're asking for one moment of kindness. Then ask Father Christmas. Time can be rewritten. People count! Whatever happens tonight, remember, you brought it on yourself. Who are you? I'm a ghost of Christmas past. So that's it, my top three favorite Christmas specials with Matt Smith. And I guess it's not a coincidence that they're all written by Stephen Moffat, who is the head writer and sort of the showrunner of Doctor Who since around 2010. And he's doing a great job. He's the guy who wrote the new Sherlock series, and he's the guy who wrote Coupling. If you are new to Doctor Who and uh, want to see what it's all about, just watch, first of all, The Christmas Carol, and then go from there. Thank you. Cheers.
Oh, and by the way, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and watch my other videos.